in this video or two videos, I don't know how long it all will be, a homebrew circuit from an RFID tag plus the corresponding electronics, the schematics and the demonstration. Here the whole circuit is on the breadboard. This is a relay driver, the buffer stage and the oscillator. And the principle from such an RFID tag is very simple in this case, by the way. We have an oscillator here. I will later pan over the circuit. We have an oscillator here that is active, in this case, on 6.7 MHz. And when we um, move an other coil, and that is in fact the tag, also a tuned circuit to that same frequency, 6.7 MHz. When we move that coil to the input from the oscillator, the thing starts to switch. That's the effect that we want to have. Took me quite a long time to find it out all, but anyway, you can make such a tag yourself. Here is the description, 12 turns, copper wire isolated on a PVC tube from 16 millimeters. And that is this thing, the pickup coil. And the coil is one, but there are two caps here. And they are both uh, 100 picofarad, so together uh, it's 200 picofarad with this coil. And you can see that here, this is the coil, here is the the, the cap that bridges that coil, that makes that it works on 6.7 MHz. I had a few, a few uh, problems to tackle. At first there was a problem that when I um, uh, moved a piece of iron to the pickup coil, the, os the oscillator also stopped. Well, that's not the problem. Um, it only must stop when the exact, the exact tag with that exact frequency, here 6.7 MHz, uh, sucks out all the energy out of the coil. So that was the first problem and that problem was solved in a simple way by using here a band filter from 4.5 up, up to 6.5 MHz. You can tune that and that has a sharp peak. And that means that uh, this is going to be the pickup coil and the whole oscillator cannot be influenced by pieces of metal. When you um, move a piece of metal to the pickup coil. And this has a blue core. It's here, blue core. You can find such a... Uh, such a unit, kind of an IF filter, of course it's not a real IF filter, but it works between 4.5 and 6.5 megahertz. You surely can find it somewhere. So you can tune in that filter to the exact frequency here from the pickup coil, and that means that it's only sensitive when we move the tag to the oscillator. That was the first problem to solve. So let's show the oscillator. This is the oscillator part. Official uh, uh, RFED tags work on a few specific frequency. One is 13.56, but this one is homebrew and works on 6.7. The oscillator, by the way, the voltage <coughs> To the oscillator had to be stabilized, otherwise it didn't work. So you see here a Zener diode, bridge with a cap from 10 nanofarad, and this is the oscillator. In fact, the oscillator sends its signal into the buffer stage. I've published that earlier. As far as I know, it's a grounded uh, collector stage. And the good thing is, here we have a high impedance from that oscillator, extremely sensitive, and here we have a low impedance. And the rest from the circuit is in fact very simple, a MOSFET, 
here the drive to relay over the coil a diode and a capacitor to uh, uh, protect the MOSFET from um, high voltages. Here the relay that has here a 280 ohms DC resistance. Could be less, doesn't matter much, you can go to 100 ohms. Here a decoupling unit to stabilize it all and it works on 16 volts. And here you see the wave out of the oscillator on that frequency. When I move the tag the oscillator will stop of course. So uh, that was more or less all to tell. I've used here a MOSFET, the BUZ80 and I had another concept in my first experiments but that worked not so well because uh, a normal transistor has a very critical switching point. So the MOSFET can be more easily be driven. The MOSFET is taken from the gate somewhat down to the negative lead because otherwise the gate flows free and is very sensitive, too sensitive. Also here the base is connected via a 1M resistor to the ground to um, uh, to give it stability. This is a classical uh, amplifier stage that where the BC547B amplifies at its most because it has no emitter resistor. So it, it amplifies say approximately 200 times. That's the amplification factor from that transistor. Pin connections etc. Also here a 100 picofarad cap to give it more stability. So in fact a very simple circuit. I want to pan over one time and then I stop that video. The um, switching unit. This also the switching unit. The buffer stage. And the oscillator. And of course with such a RFID you can make, for instance, um, a secret key or the entrance to a home or a garage. You are the only one that have that has that uh, corresponding key, that corresponding uh, tank circuit that works on that specific frequency, 6.7 megahertz. Uh, other RFID tags work on VLF, very low frequencies, and in the gigahertz band, but that is uh, more difficult to make such a circuit in such, on such an extremely high frequency. That's the reason why I made it on this low shortwave frequency. I wish you luck.